And so Reeve said, Mark Romano, project manager with Bechtel. Um, we are the EPC contractor uh, for Terra Power, so EPC, engineering, procurement, construction. And I know the construction is what's on the forefront of your all's minds here, so we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, just a little bit about Bechtel. So we are going to be having our 125th year anniversary next year. Uh, I have not been with the company for 125 years, but I have been with them for 32 years. And primarily in the nuclear industry, uh, Bechtel has been providing EPC services for the nuclear industry pretty much since nuclear plants first started being built back in the 60s. And we've never left. Uh, so you can imagine how excited we are to be able teamed up with Terra Power for this next generation nuclear plant, which we truly believe is a game changer. Uh, what I'm going to talk about is what's coming next. So as you know, we were out, we were out here for about seven months, first showed up on site, uh, physically showed up on site back in December. We started our subsurface investigation campaign. That was a seven month evolution, and that's when we saw all the drill rigs out there. Significant scope of work was performed, and right through the heart of the winter, uh, definitely presented its challenges. But uh, with the help of the community, with the help of uh, the people at the non coal plant, um, for those, any of you from the plant that are here, just want to thank you for your help uh, with our team that was out there. Uh, but that was a very successful effort for us. So that was a key piece that provides all the subsurface information and creates our geotech report, which is part of the uh, construction permit application. So really important work uh, that really kind of kicked off our engineering efforts. So we demoed back in July. Um, and so what's next, and this is all part of our plan, the next is going to be our sodium test and build facility which we refer to as the uh, TFF because in nuclear we like uh, acronyms. Uh, so this TFF, this is a uh, standalone uh, facility. It is not part of the nuclear plant, okay? But it will be built at the site just north. So this is the rendering here, uh, the white building. It will not be white, but we just wanted it to be standing out. Uh, it is a tension membrane uh, facility, so you can actually get that, that fabric in any color that you want. So we obviously are going to want it to blend with the uh, surroundings. I guess that would work in the wintertime, the white. Uh, but uh, behind it in the picture is actually a rendering of the nuclear plant itself. So that gives you that, the, the proximity of the facility with the nuclear plant. Uh, but this will be a standalone. We're going to start building that early because we need it to test some of the critical components for the nuclear plant. So it's kind of our leader uh, leading into uh, getting our major uh, components for the reactor tested and then fabricated and then available for the actual build out of the nuclear plant. So this uh, facility uh, is going to have a 20 year design life. Uh, as I mentioned, it's on the north, north end of the plant with a 189 uh, to the top of the page. Uh, and uh, we are going to be starting work uh, next year on that. So we are currently in our design phase, uh, just finished up our conceptual design, started working to our detailed design, and I started to lay out our strategy for uh, building this facility. Now the way we're going to approach this uh, facility out of the gate is going to be subcontracted work. So it's going to be all subcontractors for, for this facility. And uh, we're going to have upwards 12, 15 different subcontractors. Some just general subcontracting, general mechanical, general civil, structural, electrical, but we'll have some specialty subcontracting. Heat tracing is going to be very important. Fire protection, HVAC. We're going to have some tanks. Um, concrete. We are going to have an excavation too, so there will be a pit inside this facility, a, a pretty significant pit, uh, where we'll have our main tank. So the whole purpose of this facility is we need to simulate uh, the reactor conditions. So we will have a large tank in this pit. We're going to have a 30 ton gantry crane uh, to help move these components around, and we're going to test some of the major components 
we're going to uh, bring, put sodium into the tank and then we're going to test it. And then we have a lot of our testing loops and testing equipment and that will just help us uh, verify that our technology uh, is exactly where we need it to be. Uh, so this will be subcontracted work. Uh, we'll start going out for uh, requests for bids for the early works and civil works. So initially, the first year, we'll primarily just be working in the dirt, getting the site prepped, working the excavation, and then we'll move on from there. It is planned right now for about a two and a half year build out. So our plan is to, for this facility, start it uh, Q2 next year, coming out of the winter months, mobilize somewhere in the April to June time frame, uh, and then we want to have the facility completed by the end of 2025, and then from there it'll go into its, we'll load it, with we'll load the tank with sodium, they'll go through its own testing and commissioning of the plant itself, and we want it to be ready to receive the first uh, equipment to be tested in early 2026. So that's the timeline for this facility. Right? Just want to point out here, this is our subcut supplier portal. Uh, so this is where suppliers, whether it's for equipment, materials, subcontracted work, any sort of suppliers or subcontractors, uh, to register with Bechtel at Bechtel.com slash suppliers. That is our portal to get registered with, the, with our company. And then I'd like to finish up, so talk about an overview of construction for the site itself. So I just talked a little bit specifically about the uh, test and build facility, that being our next evolution. Uh, but then I'm going to give you an overview of, of what we're looking at for the whole construction evolution out of the site. So as you know, we, some of you may have seen the MET Tower go up. We did that uh, towards the end of March this year. So we do have our MET Tower out there that is actively collecting data for us. Uh, we did, as I mentioned, we completed our subsurface investigations back in July. Uh, our test uh, facility, uh, mobilization, uh, Q2, as I mentioned, in 2023, so next year, not too far from now. We're looking at our first concrete for the for that facility to be uh, Q2 of 2024. We're looking at starting our, our and completing construction of the test facility in uh, Q4 of 2025, as I mentioned. That's our target to have that facility completed. Uh, we are going to start uh, the uh, nuclear plant, the demo plant, start the civil work on that in uh, around Q2 of 2024. So that's going to be earthwork. Uh, we're looking at the first concrete for the natrium plant uh, in 2025. And then uh, completing construction uh, the end of 27 uh, with fuel load 28. And then that goes into a startup and conditioning. So that's our overall project timeline. As you can see, there's a lot of overlaps there, right? So we will going to be starting this uh, test facility on its own as a standalone facility. But as we start getting the first year, as I mentioned, we'll primarily be the earthwork, doing the excavations, start putting up the fabric membrane structure. Uh, and then in 2024, when we're starting to get our above ground work, do our, do our first concrete, which will basically be the foundation. Uh, the pit itself is concrete steel lines. So we'll start working on that, and while that work's going on, we'll be starting the earthwork uh, on the nuclear plant itself. So there's a nice, nice kind of synergy in the schedule where we're working the earthwork for the test facility, and then we're moving on over for the plant itself. There's a lot of earthwork to be done there, uh, and then uh, as we start to get above the ground on the nuclear plant in 2025. That's when we'll be doing a lot of the equipment inside the test facility. And we'll be working on the equipment and getting the test loop in place and basically getting that facility ready to load sodium. And then the nuclear plant will be starting with our above ground, a lot of foundation, a lot of civil structural, you know, doing the buildings. And then 26 and 27 are our real heavy, that's where we're going to see a lot of our peak construction in those years when we are basically outfitting all the buildings at the plant. That's it.
Thank you.